Smoking. We all know it's harmful to your health, yet millions of people continue to light up because quitting is just too hard. But what if kicking the habit was as easy as a one-time injection? I've been smoking since I was probably around 14 years old. Um, it was a bad habit I got into. My parents were heavy smokers growing up, and I was always breathing in secondhand smoke, and it kind of caught on at a young age, so it's very unfortunate, but I would definitely be interested in something like that. Mike Long just might be in luck. Researchers at Weill Cornell Medical School have been working on developing a treatment that could take all the enjoyment out of smoking. Dr. Ronald Crystal explains. We've developed a vaccine where we genetically modify the liver to produce an antibody against nicotine. And now the antibodies are floating around in the blood like a little Pac-Man that like nicotine. And you, if you smoke and the nicotine passes across the lung, the idea is that these little anti-nicotine Pac-Man will gobble it up and prevent it from reaching the brain. So it's a vaccine to block nicotine from reaching the brain. Crystal says that while many anti-smoking campaigns focus on cigarettes, he and his team wanted to find a way to block the sensations nicotine sends to the brain that makes smoking so addictive. Crystal's team tested the vaccine by injecting it into the liver of mice. The antibodies that it produced suggest that the effect won't diminish over time, like that of other antibodies. And so until we do human studies, we're not going to know whether it really works or not. But in mice, it's spectacular. So if you give a mouse nicotine, they're like humans. They sort of chill out. They, they sort of stop running around. Their blood pressure drops a little bit. Their, their heart rate drops a little bit. bit. And uh, if we vaccinate them beforehand with our genetic vaccine, it's like you're giving them water. They just behave like normal mice. The team plan to test the vaccine in rats next and hope that in two to three years, they will work up to conducting clinical trials in humans. For Mike Long, that day can't come soon enough. You know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, life, life throws you awkward directions and nicotine is considered the biggest stress reliever in this country, you know, and I, it's, it's not easy to quit. <laughs> it really is not. If the vaccine is a success, the researchers say it could be administered preventively, sending a bad habit up in smoke. Sharon Reich, Reuters.